Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in what a trading day yesterday my friends we had huge volatility in every asset Bitcoin had its dump down towards $18,000 exactly as we were predicting it and then of course we at the end had also a nice bounce and right now Bitcoin is again fighting with the 20k area so we have to analyze that and uh, of course we're gonna have a look into Ethereum, Ethereum W, the DXY and also Nasdaq so if you like this crypto content hit that like button subscribe to this channel and and sign up to Bybit with the link in the video description because this is the number one trading exchange if you want to trade Bitcoin and altcoins. Now my friends, let's dive straight into the 4-hour time frame for Bitcoin because yesterday I told you my friends that we were in this uh, downwards moving channel and if we switch over into the lines chart you can see that we never had a 4-hour close below the support trend line at around $18,800. That's why we are always waiting for confirmation whenever we have a breakout. So what we have seen here was uh, a week below the support trend line and immediately this got bought back up very very quickly and afterwards we have seen continuation to the upside towards the top of the Kelton channels and here is where we got rejected. The problem currently is only that we are not even able to maintain the support at the 200 moving average so I'm expecting here for the next coming hours probably even days some more pushes to the downside because even though we had now four hour closes above this resistance trend line I think that it's very likely that we're coming down to test at least the median line of the Kelton channels at around nineteen thousand three hundred dollars and if we are able uh, to have enough support here then it's very likely that over the next coming days we will see them follow through towards the resistance that we have over in the daily time frame because here you can see that we are still in this little falling broadening wedge and if here we have a breakout to the upside so we need to break $20,300 over time we will come up again to retest the main resistance that we have because Bitcoin since weeks now is just trading sideways here uh, with the low currently at $17,600 and the top currently at around 25 k So I think that it's very likely that since we had this nice bounce uh, yesterday that over time here we will come up to test again this $25,000 area where also the 200 daily moving average is approaching to and um, that's why in the immediate short term like the four hour time frame you can see uh, that we're quite overbought we are in extremes here that's why i think a little pullback is possible but in the next coming days afterwards we should see continuation to the upside especially if today we can confirm also this buy signal and bring the rsi above the 50 level in the daily time frame so a daily close above the median line of the kelton channels so basically if today we can close above nineteen thousand three hundred dollars i think that here we have very good chances to see follow through to the upside in the next coming days and weeks in the weekly time frame also i'm still bullish i still expect here at least a bounce towards uh, the median line of the kelton channels at around 23k and uh, over time also test here uh, this 25k resistance and if we're bullish enough to break also above that i think that we have very good chances to fight here the top of the kelton channels in the weekly time frame and the resistance trend line of this bigger falling falling broadening wedge at 30k and if we are having daily and weekly closes back above this resistance trend line then i think that we are in for a very nice bear market rally my friends and then of course we have to measure the target once we have a breakout here but until then here 30k is in my opinion a potential uh, target if we're gonna see here bullish uh, follow through not only towards 25k but also break this resistance trend line and push towards the top of the Kelton channels the same thing also for ethereum i expect here a nice run up towards $1,600 and uh, if bitcoin is reaching 30k $2,200 could be possible for ethereum also here we are in very oversold condition and um, let's have a quick look also into ethereum w because we recovered yesterday nicely back above the seven dollar support let's hope that we can keep up with this support because then i'm expecting also here continuation to the upside but if we're going to close again for our candles below seven dollars then it's likely that we will see follow through to the downside and uh, yesterday we had even volatility here over in the US dollar index a huge push to the upside but then immediately a dump so exactly the opposite to the Bitcoin price and uh, almost every other asset but here you can see that we have exactly the the opposite condition in the four hour time frame a buy signal and in the daily time frame a potential sell signal and if you we're not able to continue creating higher highs so we need to take out this high here at 114 then i think that here we most likely have found the top at least for now and that we could see a massive uh, consolidation phase or corrective phase in the next coming days weeks and months similar like we have seen also when we were in such overbought condition in the monthly time frame in 2015 when we started uh, to go sideways and at the end even crashed down after a huge run-up 
so I still expect a big trend reversal very very soon but with the volatility that we have seen yesterday we didn't break any kind of important support or resistance level so we are basically still in our trading range in all asset classes especially here over on Bitcoin we are still between $18,000 and 25k and until then we're gonna remain in this uh, uh, channel until we are going to see a breakout here to the upside or to the downside and if we have a look into Nasdaq here same story huge dump yesterday but then immediately we bought back up here and um, you can see that uh, we could have here a potential bullish uh, weekly close but only if we're going to close again above the 200 weekly moving average at 11,200 the weekly time frame is in danger but since we are very oversold and still above the bottom of the Caltech channels and here we could get very very soon a buy signal i think that as long as we are not closing weekly candles below the bottom of the Caltech channels we should be fine and also the monthly time frame is still above the 50 monthly moving average and also in very oversold condition exactly the opposite than the us dollar index and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel sign up to buy bit with the link in the video description this is where i am buying bitcoin and also trading uh, bitcoin because i think that in the next coming days and weeks in my opinion we could see that big trend reversal it hasn't started yet i want to see first the important resistance broken uh, not only here for bitcoin but also in the opposite uh, huge uh, uh, crashes below important supports uh, in the us dollar index then i think that the big trend reversal will start and then you can do massive gains over here on Bybit, especially if you're trading also with leverage. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!